look who decided to come back after so long i know it's been what a month or so so much shit has happened um you don't even know the half of it uh, honestly i don't even know if i can share it all in one video but i'm okay i'm alive i'm so happy to be back i miss you guys but so much it's so nice to be back here and just to hang out with you guys again uh I'm always coming back into your life and I'm always expecting you to take me back just like that. So thank you. I love you and I miss you. On today's menu, we have snow crab legs and I'm going to kind of saute up some crawfish. I have crawfish here. It's already boiled. All I'm going to do is just saute the green bell peppers, the onions, jalapenos, put some salt, pepper, white pepper, and garlic powder and sugar. It's gonna be very simple. Kind of a take on salt and pepper shrimp, but this time I'm just gonna do it with crawfish. I've been craving this too so much. Um, I'm ready to eat. Let's cook. So I don't know if you guys know, but salt and pepper shrimp is probably one of my favorite things to eat. Um, it's it's the dish where you get to actually eat the, the, the shrimp whole because you fried the shrimp. Um, I don't know, I just love the flavor of it. And I wanted to kind of incorporate that with the crawfish. I mean, I don't think it's ever done been done before. Perhaps, I don't know, maybe it's more of a Chinese style. But I personally love it. I wanted a little bit of veggies and crunch in my food today, so that's why we're combining it. Jalapenos, let's just toss that right in there. So while that's going, I'm going to combine all the dry ingredients. I have a little bit of sugar here. So you're basically going to get about just a teaspoon of each. So this is salt. Some black pepper. This is uh, garlic powder. Yeah. And this is my favorite. It's white pepper. Uh, Vietnamese people actually use a lot of white pepper in their cooking. We use it in our fried rice. I don't know if you've ever had it before, but it's incredible. I have all those ingredients in there. I'm just going to mix it up like so. I might not use all of this. I don't want it to be too salty. Mm. It smells so good. I know it's so good to see you too. I hope you're well. I hope your kids are well. I don't know why I assume everyone has kids, but I just hope you're well. You sexy little bitch. What next? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put this dry rub in. So I'm just gonna sprinkle like so. Just like that. So get all that flavor in. Now I'm going to toss in my bag here of crawfish. This is a pound of crawfish. I don't know if you tried that method before, but if you kind of like the way they do it at the, uh, the crawfish restaurants, they put it in a plastic bag.
So now we just saute the crawfish with the veggies. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the rub here, the dry rub. Amazing. I just want to keep it simple. I just want to toss it up with the veggies and the crawfish and that's about it. I mean, I really don't need any other crazy flavors added to it. I didn't want it to be saucy. I wanted it to be dry. So, I like it simple. Let's keep it that way. All right, so now that's cooling off, I think it's time to dig in. Um, I think that's too hot to start on, so we're gonna try some of these first, these snow crab legs. Ah, I'm so excited. Actually, let me show you. Pretty big, huh? Mmm. Sweet. Okay, let's see. See, I'm getting better at these, but I'm still having a hard time taking the meat out of snow crab legs. I want to keep them whole. Beautiful, beautiful piece of meat. Mmm. That's so good. Ooh, the dry rub's really good. Nice. Mm, hot. Mmm. Really damn good. I love the inside of their heads. Hmm.
these are so good actually. I got these I got these crab legs from a local supermarket. <clears throat> Can I tell you something? Do not get crab legs at Costco. I love Costco. You know I support Costco. I am like the spokesperson of Costco. I live there. But do not get crab legs there. I do not like them. I failed this leg. Hold on. There you go. The reason why I do not like Costco seafood is because it's salty. It is really, really salty. I'm not sure if they are literally throwing, dumping tons of salt in their boiling water when they're boiling the seafood, but man, it is just, I cannot tolerate the amount of salt that's in there. It's disgusting. Like this on the other hand, it's sweet. It's sweet like it's supposed to be. We actually tried the king crab legs at Costco. It was absolutely disgusting. I was so bummed out because I felt like we wasted so much money on it. This, this is good though. Yes. See? It's so rewarding when you're eating seafood. Mm.
I'm surprised to hear the plane right now actually flying across or flying above me. A lot of flights have been canceled because of hurricane season. All that crazy stuff has been happening. Mother Nature is not happy with us, you guys. So let me crack this up a little bit more. There you go. I want it to be a little drumstick there. So good. This is probably really blasphemous to say, but this isn't actually my favorite part of the crab. I really like eating the legs a lot more. But I don't think it has anything to do with the way it tastes necessarily. It's more of how difficult it is to get all the meat out of, out of the body, you know? I think it kind of frustrates me. The claw is the most difficult. Sometimes I just gotta use my teeth.
Mm. Another lollipop. Oh, I'm obsessed with these. Dip that in butter. Mmm. I'm in heaven right now. The reason why I actually chose crawfish and snow crab legs. Is because I went to this all you can eat all you can eat um, buffet no, I'm sorry all, of course it's all you can eat it's a buffet that I went to and they're just they're known for their seafood and all that good stuff so I went insane on snow crab legs and crawfish and salt and pepper fried shrimp and lobster sorry lobster and all that good stuff did not hold back. You guys are wondering, I'm eating... the claws of the crawfish. Nothing goes to waste, you guys. I don't believe in that. Mm. I'm so dirty. So I guess I, I will just hold back from talking about things that um that have been up to these this past few months. I'll talk about it in my next video. But what you do need to know is that my birthday just passed, September 3rd. Some of you know, uh, I just turned 31, which is an amazing age, just amazing. I've just never felt smarter I've never felt faster, I've never felt stronger, mentally and physically. I love being in my 30s, it's the best, it really is. Everyone's always, all these young kids are so excited about being 21, which makes sense, but, cause they get to do, a, you know, because they get to, what, drink or something? Cause, because that makes you a real adult? I don't know. That's a little bit of a kick. That white pepper and black pepper together makes it really spicy.
Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Not too shabby. Just a little bit. This was me at the buffet, literally, <laughs> like this past weekend, I was so quiet and so focused. I just get really determined, can't help it. I love the inside with the innards of the crawfish. Mmm, that's the big guy. His claws are huge.
Mm. So good. So sweet. Boo, Costco. Your crabs suck. And I'll be honest with you. I've had a lot of <clears throat> crab videos. I would say snow crab legs are pretty damn good. If not better than um, the currently very popular king crab legs. Just my opinion. I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm quiet. I'm just quiet. I'm not mad at you. Oh. I'm just really in my zone right now. Oh, I'm messy. My table's moving. play. Oh dang, I've got trash all over myself. These look like little cockroaches for sure. Cockroaches of the sea. That one's dead. sweating right now but I do not care
See, here, here's the thing with snow crab legs. If you're gonna cook snow crab legs or boil them, if the, <clears throat> if the shell does not snap upon, upon trying to break them, that means your your shellfish is overcooked. It's supposed to make a really hard snap. Not a hard snap, but a snap nonetheless. But when you can bend it, when you can bend the leg, that's when it's overcooked. That's when you know. Let's see here. I got crab shit all over me. Oh. Let's finish this feast. Yeah, I'll probably talk a little bit more in my next video. Sorry, guys. I'm just in like a food zone right now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the 
shell is just intense. This could have been lollipop number three, but I instead screwed that up. Split it open like a flower. Easy access to everything. One guy left. Mm. Oh my gosh. What a mess. That was fun. I mean, I don't know what your idea of enjoying food is, but that to me is better than, look at that, crab meat everywhere. That to me was better than eating the biggest fucking burger or the biggest pizza you could ever see. I mean, I'm just down with this seafood life, this I just love eating seafood. I can't, I don't know what else to tell you. Anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Like I said, I was a little quiet today, but next time you see me, I will explain what's going on. A lot of changes in my life. A lot of shit going on. A lot of shit went down as well. Oh my God, it was just, it was chaotic. But I'm alive, I just wanna let you know that. And I miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you again. So, have a good one for now. See you later.